there disrupts my unboxing. Unboxing Starscream, this is more like a sponsored review. And that's exactly what this video is, my friends. Today we're taking a look at MSS01 Sirius, and this was sent to me by Shout to the Z, Shout to the Z, Shout, 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 Shout to the Z. My goodness, wow, look at that posability. So much presence, and Homeboy has the blade, Homeboy has a little car with him. Yeah, there's lots of little things that the Hasbro version doesn't have. And you know, just looking at how poseable he is, I wonder how much of this is actually based on the Hasbro toy? Because this looks phenomenal right here. If I didn't know any better, and I, didn't, and I didn't know that this was such a small toy, this right here would look very masterpiece-ish to me. And I'm digging that a lot. Let's, uh, let's uh, open this guy up, and man, I hope he has a girlwalk mode. I mean, if you guys know me and you follow the channel, you know all jet formers must go into girlwalk mode, or we have to make an earnest attempt at least. Um, okay, here are the instructions. Nice and glossy, by the way. Tons of gloss. <laughs> Lots of gloss on this box too, right? But um, yeah, so on top of the paper, there is like a plastic sheen, which is giving, its, uh, giving it the instructions of their like rigidity and stuff. Um, is that a word? Okay, it's one side. Uh, I'm looking at this and it has a total of 26 steps. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, oh interesting. Three millimeter and five millimeter on, on, that's really weird. One hand is three milli and the other is five milli. Yo, what a trip, right? And um, yeah, I mean, the instructions are pretty easy to follow. They're color coordinated, good like indica indicators over there. And uh, all right, I'm kind of feeling that, dude. Yeah, I'm a sucker for good instructions, dude. I love, love well thought out user experiences. And um, dude, what does he have over here? These are all the hands I see. And these are like his wing blades and stuff, really great. I don't think the Hasbro version had a wing blade, did it? Maybe it did, I just don't remember. And the tiny little car over there. What's the story uh, with that car anyway? I, I never watched this series. What is this, Energon, Cybertron or? something dude where's the what the heck oh, i'm tripping dude i was looking for like you know the, the clamshell usually separates over here no it's 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 all up here meaning they went kind of like el cheaposaurus on the clamshell um but that's fine dude that's fine he looks dope though dude and i hope the quality is good too. Um, I am not familiar with this studio. Uh, you know, for legend stuff, I typically, you know, we know Magic Square, um, New Age. Um, I seen DX9 get up in this, but these guys, MSS01, like yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it looks like your typical legend stuff, right? Like a high quality legend stuff, removable hands, all these nice accessories. From what it appears, it seems to have really nice paint deco. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if this is unique engineering or if it is a like downscaled version of the Hasbro or any other previous version, but I don't think it is. I think it's unique and it looks very nice. It feels good in hand. Uh, the paints are done well, like there's no overspray and stuff, and this looks like a very high quality figure. Um, it's not as matte as Magic Square stuff, and there isn't as much paint as New Age, but it's somewhere right in the middle. If I can compare it to anything, it actually feels like a Hasbro product, like a small deluxe Hasbro product or something like that. It feels very good in hand. It feels very, very good in hand, actually. Who is it? Wait, wait a minute. What studio is this? MSS Sirius? Hmm. Yo, if this guy ends up being pretty dope during the transformation, I'm gonna pay attention to the studio because I'm liking so far what I feel. Um, that's cool. Yeah, the little car is like well done. I don't think it transforms or anything, does it? No, I don't think it does. Yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny. And uh, there's no paint on it or anything. But uh, yeah, it's good. And then the wings. Ooh. Are, are, are the wings supposed to like adhere like I, I don't know I'm asking y'all because I'm not very familiar with this character I don't know it kind of looks like it's supposed to extend from the wing but at the same time the wind the wing looks obnoxiously long like this and I don't see any I don't really see any areas where I'm supposed to attach this or if it does 
it's going to be impeded by that so uh okay well i'm just going to figure it out as we go along so let's transform this guy so we can see him in robot mode and um yeah it's going to be a good time i will be right back and we'll go through the steps okay you know, normally I don't like freestyling stuff and I like following the instructions because it lowers my anxiety. But I was going to say, there's no um, there's no instructions for girl walk, so I think we're just going to have to fake it. And I feel like I can pull this off. Uh, one thing, another thing I was going to say is, dude, do you see the contour of that nose cone here? I really, really like that a lot. I'm not sure if it's like that on the original version of this, but I really, really do enjoy that. It, it, I don't know, something about it reminds me of Macross. And, uh, and the landing gear and stuff is really great too. Everything just kind of like folds up. Dude, so far I'm liking this toy a lot. Tremendous, tremendously. Um, but yeah, so I can see that the arms kind of, um, <clears throat> they must be tap. okay. There's a light tab and protruding from the forearm and you can see that it tabs into that little slot right there. Same thing over here. It's not too hard. And um, I'm imagining the forearm will Will open up somehow okay great we got a tiny fist in there it's not one of the expressive vanity fists that we have um, in the packaging and in fact here let me show you something in fact it's very small oh the hand inside the um, that little fist is much smaller than the vanity hands and so they're cheating a little bit meaning there isn't enough space in there to really to put a like they're cheating in that. Dude. Dude, it's wrong. Dude. Come on, I can't get this open. What? Hold up for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I just needed to kind of free up the fists. And in order to do so, like, you just gotta press this cuff. And uh, I, I wasn't doing it correctly. All right, now the arms are out. And uh, they're in pretty good, they're in pretty good position um, in orientation in terms of doing the girl walk. I just got to figure out how to get the legs down as well. So there's, okay, it, this, the legs also have a soft tab uh, that plugs into one of the slots over here. And um, all right, let me just free up the legs first. Oh, how interesting. How interesting. Yo. You see this knee thing? I wonder if it like comes out and flips around. Man, that's pretty cool, man. Like this small level of detail, it it provides the thrusters in the back and when you turn it into robot mode, oh, that's really cool, man. You lift this up and you flip this around, I'm assuming, and it becomes the kneecap very neat very very neat let me just double check and look at the picture yeah that's exactly how it is dude it's nice and intuitive that was cool man now you see i'm hoping you see there's a hinge right here because if i if i bring the legs dude this is i'm having a lot of fun right now by the way uh the transformation is very easy very very easy it's nice, fun, intuitive. Bring the heel spurs out. All right, look. If we were to just do that, that in itself right here is a decent girl walk. Um, then we can bring these forward, kind of like the fast packs. This, I guess it's just, I don't know what this does. Does it fold up? Huh. I don't know what this does. I'll have to take a look later. But what I'm wondering is there's this like additional hinge right over here. And I'm wondering. Oh. It is very Macross esque. See this? So here's the head. And if you push up from the bottom, the head's going to pop up right there. But I bet you this, get the cup out of here, dude. It allows you to bring the hip forward, which will, well, but you know what? I actually think the orientation is probably better back over here. We'll bring the head down and um, 
If we want to give the legs a proper gerwalk bend, we'll probably need to flip it over. And he still has some like decent feet, dude. Yo, this is bad, dude. I mean, this is badass, dude. This is tight, dude. Do you hear the excitement in my voice? <laughs> Yo, this is tight. Get the cup out of here, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Da, 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 da. Get the cup out of here, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. Dude, I love it, dude. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I just want to figure out what to do with this tail part over here. Um, I don't, and I can see that little tab in the instructions. The car is supposed to plug in, but in like robot mode. Yeah, like I, I don't know why these things actually fold up like that. Really don't know why. I'm trying to look at the instructions to see if they show anything regarding that particular tail. No, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, here. Oh. Oh. All right, well, why don't we just try to transform into robot mode? And I'm gonna fake it till I make it. But everything's going really well. Like, I love it when you can, when you can kind of mess with the bot and uh, get things to like magically happen. So I gotta get the head to go up. And I wonder, I'm wondering if it's gonna like snap in there. Oh, that's great. After you bring the neck up, when you fold this down, it'll actually push that neck platform up and then you can flip the head up so you don't have to worry about the head uh, depressing on itself. That's really great. That's really, really great. The nose cone doesn't look like it does. It does it doesn't really like this. This flex here. I don't know. I don't think it serves a function. But um, yeah. So, oh wow, he has multiple hinges. So this tab is going to tab into the nose cone, and yeah, the legs are going to swing all the way down. Huh. That might help with the Gerwalk mode, but I kind of like what we had earlier. Yeah, that's nice, man. That's real nice. Dude, I got to find out. I got to find other toys made made by the, this manufacturer. Um, yo, he's tight. I'm wondering... Oh. What? Bro, what just happened? Wait, what? Okay, so the wings, like... So they pop off, right? And I'm looking at the instructions, and I'm trying to understand it better. Uh... Nah, this is the only one that I don't quite get. And looking at the box, I don't know, man. Like That looks like it goes down here. I don't know what they're saying about the wings. But do those wings look too big on him? Like if we compare it to this guy right here. Oh, these. This whole thing goes back. Holy smokes, dude. Oh. Yo, what a f I'm sorry, guys. I'm having a lot of fun right now. What a fun exploratory session we are having with this guy. He's great, and I don't even know who this is, dude. I want more from this company. M meaning, like... Like, I want to see more products. Like, they've done a phenomenal job so far with this guy. I really, really enjoy this. This is great. This is great. 
Dude, he's a 10 out of 10 for me, dude. He's a straight 10 out of 10 for me. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Everything is fun, but there's nothing that I've hated about this experience right now. If anything, I have really enjoyed myself throughout the process. From plane mode, exploratory, just messing around without the instructions, putting him into Gerwalk, and now finally putting him into bot mode and seeing how he looks. Dude, this is a 10 of 10. On a legend scale, 10 of 10. 10 of 10. I, I, I just... Dude, this is great. This is great. And you know a company has done a good job when they have wowed you so much that you're like, I want to get to know you better. I want to see other product offerings that you have. I want to spend my money on you. Please shut up and take my cash. That's the feeling that I'm having right now. Boy, if you pick this guy up, I'm pretty sure you're going to like him. And if you do decide to pick him up, pick him up from Shozy. Tell him the bot vendor sent you. And yeah, I appreciate y'all being here and watching this video and allowing me to have so much fun while I share and introduce this guy to you. Great, great, great stuff from this company. Digging it. Have a nice day.